Uh, okay, real talk for a second. This lawn behind me, this is mine, and it always has, still does, and always will look better than yours unless you make these changes next year. Let's talk about it. So, a little update for you guys, as you guys know who've been watching the channel here. My lawn right here, this is Scott's Pro Vista Kentucky Bluegrass. We had this sodded back in the fall of 2021, and might I just say, it looks really, really amazing two years later. I actually wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about why it looks so good. Now, in the past, we've talked about cultural practices, right? Good mowing, good fertilization, and good watering. Real quick, I want to go ahead and stress on that third one, watering. For some reason, it just seems to be one that a lot of people get wrong. And it's not their fault. Maybe they're not educated properly. Maybe they don't know what they're doing. But for some reason, with new seed and sod, especially around here for some reason, everybody can't seem to get the watering right. So I wanted to go ahead and shed a little bit of light on that. Because it's very important to a new lawn's upbringing. And it really speaks volumes with this lawn here and any other seed and sod install we've done in the past. Every lawn where maybe we didn't fertilize it as much as we should have, just by watering it adequately in the beginning and then kind of weeding it off into a deep and infrequent water, they've always looked good no matter what. So water can make or break your lawn. Here as you can see, new sod looked a little rough the first week, but with that daily watering uh, three times a day, 20 minutes each time, morning, afternoon, evening, it came in pretty good. And over time, we tapered it off to a half inch per week. Tapered it off, let it over winter, and then the next year, we started watering it deep and infrequent. Well, one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people making around here with their irrigation systems or their sprinklers that they have out in the lawn, whether it's from the spigot or what have you, is a lot of people think, oh, well, the irrigation guy said it so that I can have the sprinklers run 10 minutes a day every day and that's enough. My friends, that can't be any further from the truth because I'm telling you, I have seen this firsthand as a professional. A lot of people who do this to their lawns without even taking the time to figure out if they're getting enough water, which by the way, in case you're wondering, uh, for new seed inside, you wanna water daily for the first 30 to 45 days, uh, morning, afternoon, evening, 15 to 20 minutes each time, really just enough to keep that dirt moist. And then after that, you can taper off four to five days and then transition into more of a deep and infrequent watering. Now, this is gonna depend on when you started. If you started at the end of the season, you'll probably get two or three waterings in before it's time to shut the system down, right? Depending on where you live. Now, if you did it in the spring, which I highly advise against, you can taper off to more of a deep and infrequent watering for the rest of the season, which is two to three times a week, enough to put down a half inch of water each time. And if you don't know how to measure that, I'm gonna link here to a video where I explained in detail exactly how to do that with your irrigation systems and your handheld sprinklers. It's really something that's been eating away at me in the pro world for a while because I deal with a lot of lawns. And I can tell you from firsthand, you can mow it all you want, you can fertilize it all you want. But if your watering is not in check, because let's be honest, water is king when it comes to lawn care, you're gonna have a heck of a time. Now, if you correct it early on, you'll start to see over time, it'll look better, no matter what you're doing to it. So, yeah. By the way, speaking of timing, we're at the end of the season here, and I gotta say, it is getting pretty cold. I think we got about two or three weekly mows left, and we have two applications we have to get done for our service business, but, um, if you want to know what you could do for your lawn right now that will really help the benefit as we go into the winter in the coming weeks, I recommend you check out these videos here. And if you click this button right here, something magical is going to happen. You're going to be hearing from me through the winter into next year as I show you how to have the deepest, darkest, greenest, thickest lawn on the block.